Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are back with another edition of the G1 All-Stars. This is yours truly, the Jam Factor, Joseph Matos. And with me is the usual crew inside the lair of the pantry. Hey, me, pure power, Quince. I run the pantry. Oh, it's the, it's the reason y'all are really here, is that, that good 98 the the Deathmatch Cowboy, if if y'all watched one of these videos, y'all get my spiel. Although, actually, I'm not really the reason y'all are here. The reason y'all are here is the wrestling. Anyway, next. Hmm. Hmm. Now, you okay, I guess Skittles is too busy. <laughs> Introduce hmm. yourself. Mal is too busy playing The Sims right now. What a strange individual. But anyway, hey, let's not, not even... waste any time. We are going to be kicking off things in the A block. We're starting off with Kawada, and he's about to kill David Finley. Pour, pour one out for the Irishman <laughs> before the match even starts. And as you guys know, uh, David Finley did advance in the first round at the IWGP TV title tournament. <laughs> Uh, and as and look at and now we have a venue change. We are now wrestling in the cozy green grass. JM same same setup as last time. Falls count anywhere? No, no, no. We're going regular. Hoi. So here we go. Yeah. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we are wrestling in the cozy green grass. Yep, we're out in the CZW backyard. We're out where you're surrounded in a field of grass. Let's just leave it. There. Let's leave it like that. So, I was gonna say what I was gonna say. We're at, actually on my ranch. I'm. I'm letting y'all borrow a spare pasture. You want to know something interesting? What's that? When I first started putting up uh, these things that we've been doing together, right? You know, yep. someone was literally saying that, like, like, what are we, like, the, the new legacy of hero games? <laughs> someone actually said that in a comment. You know what? I'll take that. I can believe it, yeah. Oh. Now, now if hit my music. Now hit it? that um, that uh, what you call the freaking um, Monokuma, type of school giant. Jam, you you better you better <laughs> end it. Then. Why do you want it? Why do you want to end that in so badly? Because because that's my theme song every because that's my theme song whenever I put. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. If you're David Finley, this is a rough idea. If can the rebel oh the rebel needs that extraity change with Kawada. <laughs> None better than wrestling in the great outdoors, right? <laughs> so yeah, my man's a lot of taking against the rebel. Yeah. Dave Funley. <laughs> Name is Finley and Funley. But don't try to argue. Any, if there was any time for Dave <laughs> Finley idea. to use a shillelagh, uh, that would be time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So where are we? Who's yeah. freaking yard are we on? Are we in it, wait, is the this the same, backyard or this is the, the same backyard that CZW shows had? No. no, this no. is probably to probably at my freaking uh, hidden backyard that I found no. in the middle of the woods. No, no. we are live in an undisclosed no, like location. I, like I said, I'm, I'm like, uh, I'm like, you guys get I'm like y'all borrow an extra empty pasture I've got. Oh man, that was super close. This one, oh, there's the power hazard. bomb with a slide. Yeah, Kawada, look bomb. at the team. Hotel is the extra home. Took, they yes. took that home. And now this, a farm. 
Bruh. Are you in the WWE? Uh, we were in the I think he's a part of money laundering. Probably. He probably has some deals with the yak. I, I mean, the um, legitimate business. No, it's his money. No. And every it, time we try to say something, he goes no and then tries to get himself more over. No, so, yeah, he's it, definitely with the Yakuza. Of course, shut up. No. I'm not saying try to get himself over. That fucking killed me. Trying to spoil my shit. No, it's called I, I, I invested my money wisely. I let my money work for me. Uh, that's right. You're one of the few people that got Bitcoin, right? He probably yep. invested in Bitcoin yep. and freaking yep. other scam coins. Yeah. He also has stock in Roblox. Man, what is this Bitcoin? Most likely, he probably has stocks in Roblox, Pornhub, freaking um. Yeah. Wait, that has a stock? Wait. Yes. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Wait, Pornhub is is publicly traded? I did not know that. I most likely you could. Greg, you know what? I actually might start investing in that now. Uh, 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 so uh. I was just reading something that apparently for uh, Bayonetta 3, they're getting a new voice actress for Bayonetta. That's the problem. And according to the voice actress who got fired, she said, it, I don't know how accurate it is. They offered her $4,000 for the reprise of the role. She said she wanted more and they fired her. She's been doing a voice for like years, so you gotta pay her right for her. Well, for two games that failed. I mean, if I was the business, I would probably just be like, you know what? Okay. Pretty more since she was loyal with us, so. But yeah. for two games that didn't make a big profit? Yeah. Like, let's be, like, 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 let's be real here. Oh, what a win. And squad in the streets. Demon no surprise. Finish. I find it stupid the boycott a game. Like After that. work, this man decides to go with the book and Can shower, I find it dumb and then decides I, dude, to. I wouldn't boycott a game because you know of a voice actress. The Sims is the greatest game series. Ever. That is the. <laughs> that is a very stupid reason to Are boycott you a sure game. Sure about that, man. I've seen some rare death in The Sims. Did you know? I believe on Sims Three, right? You could die by a satellite falling onto you. I don't know. What the hell? It is the funniest thing I've ever seen, bro. That's a it was either a satellite death or a uh drop or something. But it just right, crashed right onto you. It's just the funniest thing I've ever seen. My man's right. like, hey, look at stuff. <laughs> nah, but bro, that's a Kenny but anyway, death anyway, never mind that shit. Uh we we that, that is a I, I would not boycott a game because a voice actress got Ultimate salty that they didn't baby. get paid. Ultimate weapon. Ben Shamrock A got nothing on this guy, bro. I love how no one has a, has the, a comment. The Imperial Union. Yo, I, love how, yo, I love how nobody has a comment here. Union. Yeah. Thanks, Pop Pop. Wait, can you guys see the journey? No, they can't. The union. Yeah, for some reason my voice cut off, so you guys didn't hear anything I said. Yeah, we did not hear absolutely jack shit. Huh. <laughs> no, we didn't so, hear jack shit of what you said, son. So we beat us up. All right. So what I was trying to say was, I'm not gonna boycott a game because of because of a voice actress. Keep up. Yeah, that's a little extreme. I didn't say I was boycotting the game. I'm no, no, no. So was, no, no. The voice actress literally said that to, for, is telling people to go boycott the game. Yeah. And yeah. I'm like, I'm I am not boycotting shit. You know what I mean? Keep up. Mm -hmm. Not like I can get me in at a three anyway, because I don't have the switch. Yet. Man, always got to put a yet on everything. It always works. Like, say... 
Oh, but I don't have uh, ammunition for my gun yet. Or, oh, I don't have any meat for hamburgers yet. Or who could forget the most famous one from Skittles? Oh, I don't have a pack of condoms yet. You know what's funny? Man, my pack you know, of condoms you know funny? Did you know that in White Castle, you could actually order a sandwich without the meat? Yeah. For what reason? You just get it with the pick. You just get it with the pickles, onions, and the cheese. For what reason? I don't know. A uh, boy. A uh, boy. That's the vegan special. I'm gonna have to go mute for a bit. My food's here. Go eat, you fat bastard. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. We got Antonio Inoki taking on Jeff Cobb. In the cozy green grass. That's a nice... Man, this is, a, this is the greatest and, thing um, and as, and, Oh yeah, and here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing, first. Jeff Cobb is leading the block right now. Yeah, that's believable. So. Antonio Inoki is in second place. Oh, well, we got something for both of them to try to finish on. So, do you think Jeff Cobb is gonna continue to lead, or do you think Inoki is gonna use his uh, Muero Tokan powers, his Inoki power, and win and, and, and tie the and tie the board? Do you think he's gonna tie it, or do you think Jeff Cobb's gonna continue the streak? Only one way to find out. Anoki's an unpredictable man. You never know if he's going to win or lose. Uh, there's something else uh, interesting that happened. What? Apparently, in... uh, no. This is weirder. All right, what? All right, what, what, what could be? What? Oh, great, I'm cut off again. Apparently, Charlie Haas was scheduled to do an indie tour in Australia, but uh, he, apparently the promotion announced that he did not show up at the airport, did not make any calls to us, and they believe that either he is missing or he just basically took the money and ran. He took the money and ran. Maybe he took the money and ran. Yeah, it, it's kind of sad seeing what's been going on with yeah. Charlie Haas recently. It's kind now, of I can't like, see. Uh, no, I can't see that's true or not. It's just here. a theory, but it's just like what he's been going through the past few years. Like we all like you know that Hannibal interview that he had in 2020. He looked really bad. I mean, thankfully he's recovering, but. My gosh, it's so sad to see a wrestler when I was a kid just... It's like, it's probably how people like a couple decades ago when seeing Jake the Snake Roberts and then Heroes of Wrestling. Mm. It's kind of like that, oh no. What? Like that, oh no. Uh, Where you're no. very sad and disappointed. Yeah, I think I get it. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Did you hear that bone snap? He broke Jeff Cobb's arm. Well, this match is uh, going on still. He took that might be it. No, Cobb with a busted arm is gonna try to still fight it, oh. Noki. This might not be good for his health. Man, with all these stretches, you think it would be it. Tom, with a busted oh, arm, still trying to fight Inoki. Another boots, Another following boot salt. No. Inoki, like an Inoki shark. It's like an Inoki shark smelling blood in the water. Smelling Baba blood in the water. Yep, Jeff Cobb is definitely Jeff. Oh, there we go. Mm. Jeff's arms is completely jacked up. Yep, for my how man, long? My man, can you keep his arm? For the rest of the match. It, it's hurting Jeff Cobb to keep that arm, to, to move that arm. But he's using that same damage arms for that area. And he just 
just tossed to him like he was a sack of potatoes. Oh, oh. God. Now, okay, now he's just showing off. Well, now since we're talking oh, about potatoes, God, how do you oh, like it? Oh, never mind. Speaking of potatoes. Jeff Cobb has been turned into one. He, he, got, he, man, he got turned to a freaking vegetable. But what's even crazier is the fact that Jeff could have still get a victory if he would have did a tour of the islands and start just throwing him all over the place. But, you know, he could have up to a stretch and it was game over. Especially with them damaged arms. Yep. Inoki grinded his bones to make him bread. So what's the next match, Jim? The Great Okan! Taking on Tetsuya Knight. I think Jam saying something, but his mind decides it to just throw up the middle finger at him and just say, go to hell. Oh, he's got something special to tell us. It's going to be amazing. I was going to say, this damn mic's jacked up. Can you call close? <laughs> Mike's a piece of shit. Anyway, uh, it, the great Okan taking on Tetsuya Naito. Oh, so isn't this fight? Wait, that's what I was trying to say. Before? Yeah, was it at Wrestle Kingdom? No. Oh. <laughs> they did have a mini feud though. Oh, let's see what we got here. Cycle cut. American cycle cut. Everybody dies. Great Ocon. And now we gotta put uh, uh, Naito. Here he is. Oh. Uncontrollable charisma. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here he, here he comes. The great Okan. Great Okan. Better than the Tony Khan, actually. And once again, Nayato without a theme song. It's as if the DJ in charge of the music hates him or something. Hi. Well, uh, it's just we haven't paid the uh, DJ enough money for him to do some yeah. shit like this. Show. He only gets paid in hot dogs and handshakes. How do you not handshake uh, him? Uh, Maybe he, he got given a vegetarian bread. hot dog and he didn't like it. Well, of course, vegetarian hot dogs are shit. You no, know, what else is shit? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> So, yeah. yeah, so Inoki took out yeah. Jeff Cobb. Looks like Jeff Cobb's arm is going to be all right. Well, it better be. You're yeah, sure about that, big fella. But that arm is pretty banged up. And who knows how that's, yeah. that's going to take it out, take out how that's going to play in to the rest of the All-Star matches in A-Block. Well, right now, Inoki has tied up the score with eight points. I'm back. Welcome back. This is what you missed. Inoki won. What? No, no, I, I, I watched the match while I was eating dinner. I, I just didn't have my headset on. We got takeout from Outback, and, and I got me a couple potatoes too. Like baked potatoes. <laughs> This is small potatoes. Yeah. They're cut in half, sauteed a bit, and put with some <laughs> salt and butter. So yeah, for those who don't know, one of okay. Well, uh, crazy. It could be worse. It could have been dicey. Dicey, dicey, dicey. 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 Man, I miss the IMDB before they decide to clean that whole section up where the trivia for oh, that yeah, special right. yeah, is just shitty on it. Like, it's like, it's like, it's completely gone now. Yeah, which is such yeah. a shame. Because that was, like, whenever I wanted to laugh, I just put that on. It's funnier than the actual special. Yeah. 
You know, uh, oh, no. during today's, during this morning's uh, battle on the show, there actually is another young lion in, in sight. Was it the one yeah. that was with you, right? It would, no, it was this tall guy outside, outside the ring. That is, um, from, from another Discord, someone told me that is Oscar, who is a guy named Oscar, who is in the WXW Academy. Hmm. He might have been another guy that was in the New Zealand Dojo, I think. So, we're kind of getting more young, new young lion sightings, you know what I mean? Yep. All right, what I was going to say yep. with uh, Great Okan, when he was a young lion, one of his p partners in crime and brother figure, Kinamura, passed away recently. Yeah. I was dead ass shocked because I didn't even know that he freaking died. He was a young lion, too? Yeah, he Didn't came he in. Young lion yeah, he did. He was like everyone was projecting he would become a big feature for New Japan. Like, I don't think like an ace, but definitely a character wrestler. Like yeah. what Great Okan is now. Yeah. Just him be a big mother. Right? Just him being like a big like Yeah, they had him learn on the job. Menace. Which they didn't do which they didn't give o Oka which they didn't do for Oka and and, uh, and Kawada. He could have been a menace to society. I remember way back when Cody was still around, when the elite were still around. Cody literally said that he he wanted uh, Kitamura to do his excursion in America, that he would have, that he would take care of him. Yeah, that didn't turn out well, unfortunately. That's a damn lie. Well, they never got the chance to do an excursion because he just retired right before his trial series even yeah. ended. Yeah, he had one match left. Yeah, and then he just retired. Yeah, then he just retired he quietly. Out of uh, the least. No, he had a concussion. Oh. Uh, he had a concussion that was mixed so bad that doctors uh, would not clear him. Yeah, then he tried to do a rise and fight, and no, he... No, wait, 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 you're missing. There's actually some stuff you're missing. Oh, uh, I'm... Okay, in between the years, what happened yeah, so next? in between, he also became a bodybuilder. A little like a bodybuilder. So, so he went, he went, he, and he, I guess, and, you know, the bodybuilders, they take a, you know, the Kobe beef, the steroids. Yes, and not just the ones so that Hulk Hogan had in he, the 80s. So he had even more, he was inhumanly jacked than normal. At least when he was wrestling, right? It wasn't as bad, right? Like he was still, you know, moderately sized. You know what I mean? Yep. Like jacked, but not too jacked. But not inhumanly. And you know, and you know how, and you know how much damage it does to the heart. Yeah. Not to mention it. Not to mention the shriveled your dick and make your balls tiny. Also infertile. That's far I would never take steps because I want my dick to be normal. Yeah. I ain't trying to have. A, I'm trying to be a mandango boy, not a freaking peasant. <laughs> you wanna know something bad, funny? What? Okay, I had a funny T impact story for you. TNA story. Oh, what's it, the Bobby Fish? Um, when he was no, saying something. Not the Bobby Fish. Oh. Okay, so do you remember? Okay, this is back when Hulk Hogan was still in TNA, right? Back when you were do you remember that around that time for Bound for Glory, the uh, the Hogan sex tape got leaked? Oh yeah, I remember when your sex tape got leaked. Yeah, brother, 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 I... Yeah. Brother, 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 I orgasm, of brother. Of course, you remember that, right? Yeah, that was just a weird thing. But that and team, then the apparently... team, that team got leaked, and that's how, you know, he was a racist, and all this other stuff yeah. that was in the team. But the one thing brother, people brother, were asking brother, like was, like, like... But people were asking man, about the, uh, the... People were asking about brother, brother, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yo, people... People were asking about JM. They, no, they were asking about, you know, they were asking about, you know, the brothers. 
<laughs> if you know what I mean. So they're asking, they're talking more about that than bound for glory. Oh dear. So Hogan, we're Hogan. talking about the sex tape than about bound for glory. Hogan was Hogan was probably on some white people do this, black people do that. When white people power go out of control, they panic. When black people power go out of control, they planned it. God, I love that bit. That bit is fucking great. Uh, <laughs> All right, so up next, we got uh, Masahiro Chono taking on Satoshi Hi, Kojima. Uh, oh. Hi, Koji. Uh, Jose! A little uh, retro Man, battle. back in my day, we just said Jose. The assistant? That's just looking now. I'm gonna call him Cozy. What? Uh, yeah, Cozy. That potato. Who's Cozy? Cozy. Mm. Yes. That potato soup from Outback was mad good, though. Madness. Why do I hear footsteps? Because you're schizophrenic. Bye. Alright hey, guys, can here we, we go. Semi main event time. Jokes about schizophrenia. Right. We have a semi main event time for the A block. I'm the make fun of autism, and we know autistic <laughs> people. Right, here we go again. Hey man, I'm depressed, and I still make jokes about fucking depression. And mine's is severe. So. Alright, semi main event time for the A block. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Bro. I Kojima Wait. taking on Masahiro Chono, a classic battle from 90s New Japan. Hey, 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 yeah, yeah, boys. Uh, after this match, this man's already Satoshi popping the pecs already. After this match, Satoshi will go, Did you like it? Uh, he's probably gonna go get some bread. I love then he's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna start dipping into various soups. And he's just gonna stare at you all eating. He's not gonna say a word or anything. It's very awkward. Gimme, 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 gimme. That's probably why we chose to have this place located next to a Panera Bread. Zach, do you own Panera Bread too, by chance? Oh, uh, no, I do. I do. I do not own Panera Bread. Uh, I'm. I'm just good. I'm just good with the manager of the local Panera Bread. That's why we <laughs> Wait, got what? Panera Bread catering in this bit. Catering? Yeah, well, tell him he didn't give me enough of the crunchy onions, therefore it's bad. <gasps> just start acting like Mike Myers back backstage during the making of Wayne's World where he was just a prima donna. Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Yeah, do you ever hear of some of the stories he did while working on the very first Wayne's World movie? What? Like, uh, one story went, he was getting something for catering. He didn't see an option for margarine because he can't eat butter. It, like, he has a condition that won't let him eat butter. So when he was angry that there was no margarine, he flipped the whole table over. It just <laughs> went... <laughs> Fuck this yeah, catering. Austin <laughs> Powers, oh, baby. Shit. Oh shit! All right. And he hits like, then with the Cat in the Hat movie, it's like if I'm to eat, I need someone to feed me with a spoon out of Tupperware, specific Tupperware to me backstage privately. I'm like, why do you need this special stuff? Why does it matter? Like, why does it matter? The hell. <laughs> It's like, most of the time, he wasn't even in costume yet, so why do you bother? Then again, if it was so during costume... And why is this so specific? And why is so specific? <laughs> because it's Mike Myers before the Love Guru. He had a like, career. Like, <laughs> oh like my with, god. Like with me, oh, great. Part, of, part of that makes sense to me because of my disability, but Mike, you're just being weird. Man, yeah. The celebrities are always weird. Yeah, you also forgot to mention Mike Myers is Canadian, so that just adds that little twist to it. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, wait, Chota already going for the STF. Yeah, it's like the guy when he gets a lime, he actually peels it like an orange. Yeah. Bitch, what? 
Oh, he sends him to the outside. I've given an example of weird. Bro, bro, you're not meant to eat wine like that. Nobody told that guy. Just imagine, it's like that scene from The Simpsons where the guy is like, ha ha ha, we get to keep the lemons, and he bites into a lemon, and he, he's trying to be all victorious, but his mouth is just shrinking from the sheer sourness, and the tears just going up, but he's still trying to be defiant. That, that reminds me of that one scene from Starface where, when instead of washing it, Washing his fingers in the finger bowl, Tony actually kicked the lemon out the finger bowl and bites it. Yeah, I am the original gangster. Mm. The, you, you guys played ECW Hardcore Revolution, right? Or Anarchy I hated Rules it. back in the day. Never played Anarchy Rules, but I played Hardcore I Revolution. I hated it. Okay, of course. Do you remember New Jack? The ver that version of New Jack Steve in the game. Yeah, it's like do 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 do. Out there, the original gangster. I need to like this. Do 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 do. I am the original gangster. There's another line in there where he goes, "You better run and hide when the 187 flies by." Do do do. Then the doo -dee -doo, doo -dee -doo. <laughs> like most of the song just sounded like one of the outer space levels from Glover. The, it was just weird sounding. Oh, and no, then of course. The from or, early we were saying that Kojima might grind Chono's bones to make him bread, but what if Masahiro Chono turns Kojima's bones to make him bread? <laughs> He'd be the ultimate sacrifice. He becomes what he loved the entire time. He'll be like that that PC game. You know what I'm talking about. I am Brent. Oh my. That's on console. Two. And it's just and enough. Chodo bright Kojima's bones. But first, he must exhaust. Well, I got some game scores for you, uh, Zach, if you want to hear some. Alrighty, hit me. Alright, let's start with the games that have completed. Um, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, Oklahoma right, so, beat Kansas. Wait, wait, wait. Well, Before you do any of that, the main event of A Block is going to be Owen Hart taking on the Juice Man. Here comes a Juice Man. He likes drinking juice, like apple juice, orange juice, lemon juice. Pineapple juice. Or he could be like Big T when he was like he when he randomly had a get he was randomly drinking a gallon of milk in a probo at WCW. Bro, That's what? Disgusting. Oh my god. No, I'm being for real. <laughs> there's this one oh, no. there's this one segment. Enough. It is time for the no There's this one segment. Be and I get down. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's his acapella. Juice, do 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 juice, do 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 juice. It's like the moose song in TNA, but it says yeah. juice. Okay, yeah. So what I was trying to say, I, okay, before I get cut off by my by my damn mic. So what I was trying to say was was that uh, there's this one time when Harlan, when this is when uh, Ahmed Johnson was in WCW as Big T, right? This man's in a yeah. promo, and he's randomly drinking like a gallon of milk in a, in a, in a, in a promo, in a segment. Now, I don't know why he had a gallon of milk in a, <laughs> randomly in a segment. He's oh, just showing off, I guess. Oh, I can't wait till we get to that time, and you see just how bad Harlem Heat 2000 was. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And this Here's is like a spoiler Johnson, alert. Where, no like, good matches. Yeah, where, where Ahmed can like barely like move around. He's like a lot heavier, super injury prone like usual. Yeah. What were them football scores first? All right, first shocker. Colorado finally wins the game by beating California. California, city of angels. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, of course. 
It's been a while. If I recall, that was one of the WrestleMania themes. That was the WrestleMania 16 theme. In a long time. Thousand. All right. Well, they couldn't get the rice to it. Was a tag team that I had a very long, a long time ago. Well, they're in PWS now, but uh, but back in the day, they were called. I have a tag team literally called California, and that was the theme. <laughs> Wow, you, one re one wrestler is from yeah. Fresno, the other's from Sacramento, and it's like, uh, or like one's from San Diego. Like, it's to the age. <laughs> it's like a hotness. They're from yeah. Las. They're both from Las Vegas, Nevada. From Nevada. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait. Um, <laughs> From Las Vegas, from Las Nevada. Nevada. Okay, from. Okay, so Vegas. in the WWE games, Okay, so in the Smack and the SVR games, I forgot which one. There's one that there was. I think it was a bug or something. Yeah. The ring announcer would repeat the state that you're from. So wow. one would be from Las Vegas, Nevada. From Nevada. Wow. <laughs> that could have been 07 because that game had it a bunch of glitches, a, like a chair yeah, shot it, it was called been. a Stone Cold Stunner. Yeah, that might have been 07. From Las Vegas, Nevada. From Nevada, the oh, Superstar. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that guy. The Superstar. And then who could forget his arch rival? From New York City. From New York City. Daddy Primetime. Oh, Stuff like that. Yeah, so a lot of people still like 07, though. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in it that's still good. Think of it like, say, uh, Super Nintendo Star Fox. There are parts of it that aren't good, but overall, it's still worth playing. One, two, three, and trust me, man, people did some crazy shit in 07, okay? Oh. Or another example, the uh, Witcher 1 game on the PC. But yeah, with some of the crazy stuff, if I recall, one of the craziest things, uh, Paul Birchall going off the top of a cell, trying to do an elbow drop and Hogan missing entirely. I see that gif a lot, but I don't know where it's originated from. But I'm 90% I, I'm sure it's New Legacy Inc. It might be. Paul Friction. But uh, other scores we got for you. Uh, Oklahoma beat Kansas to the shock of no one. Well, actually, yeah, it is kind of shocking. Considering last week Oklahoma scored zero points, today they scored 52, making up for last week. In my ass. Boom, boom. They made 50 points in my ass. My ass. Jackhammer. They did a touchdown. Yeah, they hit a jackhammer in my ass. Okay, I, that's too much information there, brother. Now you see... The, the, the greatest title in all of wrestling yeah. entertainment is my oh, ass. What the hell? Yeah, that, you remember Major that rap? Crazy. What? Yeah, boom, I remember boom. the GR rap. Oh, wait, I remember someone stone? actually at a radio show played that for Jerry Lawler, and he was laughing through the yeah. whole thing. I don't know if anyone had Jim Ross yet. Not yet. It's not the rock bottom. It's not, my I, I don't think he'd be a happy camper. <laughs> Nah, uh, I nah, believe he has a sense of humor. Hey, remember that one guy who was cosplaying yeah. him in AEW? And he's like, now wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. That ain't my ass. <laughs> 30 men are going to enter my ass. My ass. <laughs> Alright. Oh, um, the top rope. Mrs. Yell, is... now Juice is going up the top rope. And he connects with a Oh, head. wow. To the oh, chest. No. All right, Zach. Uh, Texas beat Iowa State. Wow. And now for scores mm. currently. Jeez. Let's see. Jeez. Drink some juice. <laughs> hey, but you gotta hydrate yourself, man. Maryland and Indiana are 24-27 right now. Ten Punch. minutes left in the game. Step up the punchy seat and tombstone by Owen Hart. Wow. The oh, dreaded oh. seat and tombstone pile driver. It's back his ass. And no, he's hey. still in this fight. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, God. 
by God, that Kane. He has broken him in half. I don't care. I'm going to pin him wherever yeah. I feel like. It's false count anywhere, is it not? Yeah. It it's is not false count anywhere. anywhere. Then I have enemies. been lied to. Yeah. Take this. Juice Robinson, at last, you're on your own. No. First. Yeah. It's false count anywhere. In my ass. That is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and the last score Debbie, for you, uh, Zach. Save it. Uh, okay. What? <laughs> yep. As I was going to say, the last score to tell you, uh, with 14 minutes left in the game, Tennessee leads Alabama by seven points. Alabama. That's right. Hardcore Holly going to have some very bad days today because someone did re not enough at the moment. Oh, the sharpshooter. Oh, and with the sharpshooter. Oh, he's out. He's out. <laughs> He's dead! He's dead! I repeat, this goofball has been deceased! My gosh, he was sent at straight to the gulag. Owen was or just getting his butt whipped the entire match, and he just won. He is sent straight to the gulag, where he belongs! Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Now we are moving in to the B block. <clears throat> and we're going to be lockdown. and we're going to have a barn burner in the B block barn burner? how yeah, so Jim? A, a lot of Please, uh, barns a, a lot of barns are going to be uh, burned yeah as, yeah I like how uh, I burn like Zach's barn as Dr. as fuck Dr. Death Steve Williams will be uh are you guys ready for a little bit of torture? I mean, I've been tortured. A certain house. The house of torture. It That's is nice evil house, versus Steve Williams. Oh, hello, Mark. Can Steve Williams overcome the cheating ways of, uh, of evil? One way to find out. Dr. Evil, Dr. Death. The battle we always wanted. Yeah. Dr. Death? Oh, hey, Jug. Welcome. Hey, Jug. Hey, hey, Poppy. How you doing? Steve Williams versus Evil. Here we go. Can the house of torture, can the evil ways of evil defeat this wrecking machine? Who likes it loud? Tough guy. Now, JM, I was told backstage that if Evil wins, he gets to take the Dr. Moniker and become Dr. Evil. You think that's possible? Uh, I don't know. It'd be really that's hilarious. True. Can you imagine, uh, uh, imagine Evil yelling out, Fire the laser in Japanese to Daytona. Fire the laser beam. Freaking sharks with freaking lasers on their head. I see evil and doing I, the, just... I need Evil doing the Dr. Evil uh, pose with his pinky. Sir. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Jug, li and Jug literally says, Oklahoma Stampede coming through. With uh, six running Pepe Sir. emojis. You know, the Young Line special. Yep. <laughs> hey, uh, Jug, did you know that in uh, this morning's uh, New Japan show, um, we had another Young Lion sighting? Yeah. Yeah, his name is Bobby. No, no, it's this guy named Oscar. He was from the WXW um, Academy. I think he was from the New Zealand. Do I think he's from the New Zealand dojo. He's a really tall dude too. Yeah, yeah. So they got, so we got two tall young young lions that are in development right now. Him and Oleg Bolton. Uh, let me see if I can try to find a picture. Hold on. Oh my God. Because I know that there were some people who were pretty hyped to see uh, Oscar. Oh yeah, it looks like uh, Evil and Hinari actually had a good match this morning. Oh shit! Yes, I won. I got a victory right now. And, uh, fellas. Oh, ow. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, 
Okay, I got the picture. Can you guys still hear me? Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. Maybe today. Maybe tomorrow. We will do okay, the punishment. All right, I'm back. You got so, uh, here we go. Okay, I got the picture right here. This is... Look how tall this guy is. Oh, that's his normal height. You gotta remember nah, he's a giant. Nah, the picture doesn't do it justice. He's I like think two, he's a joke. Uh, I think he's like two or one centimeters. Two or one centimeters in height. Let me check. I think that's what somebody said. He is six foot seven. Yeah, that that's uh, that's average yeah. height for like Hulkamaniacs. I don't know why you're so surprised. Maybe, brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really see that many people that are that tall. Well, of There's course, because you're Hulk Hogan. Junior, you're, you're, the, you're Hollywood JM. You're taller than person, everyone around you. There's only one person I remember being taller than me, okay? And we used to call him Big Bird back in my day, in my junior high school days, because he was the tallest kid in the school. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Earth. Yeah, he was, legit, he, was, he was legitimately, I think, seven feet. That is actually pretty big. Oh, man, oh, double count out! So, what? nobody gets the doctor title anymore. It's death versus evil. Nah, he's still <laughs> Dr. Death because he has to lose. I'm very so, confused. Lose, but he didn't so, win. since it was a double count out, Another one for the good they death. get... No point. Neither man gets a point. I thought they get like one point. Not even a half. Like ties. It's like say winners get two points and draws get one point. Jam. Isn't that they usually? Yeah, but Come this was on, a double man. count out though. I don't care. Yeah, they still do that for double count outs. Huh. You sure? It, it's that it's yeah. considered the same as time limit draws because it's a draw. It draws a draw. Right. And a draw you know is that, also is a that draw. Our, I think that's our first double count out. It's our first draw in general. Yeah, so this Evil and Dr. Death have to get one, have both get a point each. Now, due next to up, the, uh, we, due see. to the, um, the, uh, the, this, this finish, I, this finish is called the pantry finish, all right? Neither man Double wanted, you know what's funny? Neither man wanted the job. That's what happened? Politics, baby. Lovely. Yeah, the pantry special is called 80s politicking. Now, the pantry special is basically a draw, a, a, uh, a dumbass. Um, it, it's basically just, you know, it's basically a fuck. All right. We'll so, go away. You finish. Shout out you know, finishes as a pure right, power so, special. Up next, ladies and gentlemen, we have a classic New Japan match coming your way. Ew. As Tatsumi Fujinami from one of the best talk shows oh. in the world, the Tatsumi Fujinami show. Nah. Takes Fujinami on, representing old fuck, bro. Taking <laughs> on Shiro Koshinaka. Mm hmm. <laughs> Don't remind me about that that Fire Pro show we did with Zero One. Where it's like, do, the six man do, tag do, match will do, save everything. Do, do, do. Straight count out within two minutes. Hey, yo, so, right so, now, we're also so, wrestling so, in the, uh, the Cozy Green Grass. Okay. My favorite brand of red, Cozy. Alright. Alright, so here we go. A classic New Japan match from back in the day. <laughs> Fujigami and Koshinaka, they faced each other in the past, right? Yes. Several times. Yeah, because wasn't Heisei Ishigun, like, feuding with everybody in New Japan? Who hadn't feuded with everyone in New Japan? Heck, I wouldn't be surprised if you feuded with New Japan in the 90s. Now hold on there, brother. My, I was after the, uh, the IWGP heavyweight title. 
that the great Muta had. Everyone wanted what Muta had. Isn't that right, Skittles? Yeah. Everybody wanted what people miss. That yeah, he's getting it. That rapscallion and Noki dude, he was ducking me. <laughs> he didn't want that. He remembered that axe bomber when he did that, that in the IWGP League. I thought that was in a Wrestle Summit, though. No, in the Wrestle Summit, he would, they wanted him to face Terry Gordy, but Gordy said no. And I remember that gave him heat in, all, in with the All Japan office. Oh, yeah. And so Stan Hansen pretty much took that spot. Uh, New Japan were a part of the Wrestle Summit, but they didn't take, but they didn't get involved with in all the crossover stuff. Like they didn't get involved with the crossover aspect of the uh, show, and I think that might have been the right call to make. I think Bobo learned real quick not to try to go into bed with it back then. For a second. I thought you said Bob the Builder. No. And I was confused I said, for a moment. I'm pretty sure Baba pretty much Yeah, I knew know yeah. now, Learned but for quickly. a brief second, yeah. for some reason, I, you said Bob the Builder. And I'm like, wait, what? Oh, he said yeah. Baba. Learned really quickly to not be in bed uh, with Vince. And I'm pretty sure, you know, look, man, if Seiji Sakaguchi prevented, it was like, nah, brother, we're not doing any, we're not, we'll be on the show, but we ain't doing no crossover stuff. There had to be a reason. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. We all learned a valuable lesson that day. Yeah, right now, uh, he's grinding his bones to make him bread. Well, he's making him, he's getting some dragon meat. Rosie! to start a new side hustle. It's called Cozy Bread. It's a cozy bread. Yeah. Huh. Man, I got really annoyed. I, look, look, man, I was listening to this one podcast and like, and they were, they were like, you know, like, not, they're, they're like, they're like watching Declaration of Power, right? Yeah. And they're like, you know, like, and they're like not even excited about anything, of course. They're like there's only like one good batch of the card and you know they they're burying the TV title. They're, they're, they're like they're like burying the, they're like burying the TV title. They're like they're like I don't want to see Jade Okada again, even though it is not as drawn out as uh, even though they they barely have wrestled each other. And the and you know of the five times it's super spaced out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sounds dead as us each other. Like well, Okada's only huh? won once. Whoa. He's never. He's only Two, beat Jay one time. Three, Jay has more five, wins against Okada. Three, he's beaten Okada four times. Three, three, three. Oh, so Jay won four times. So basically, Kira's won five times. So, yes, and okay. extremely spaced out. Because I remember when they first started feuding, that was like. Yeah, and I'm mainly saying over the title. So, you know, Okada. So, of the times that they've wrestled, Okada has more losses to Jay. He has only beaten Jay once, and that was in the G1 Supercard. Like Jay is like the one person Okada just can't figure out. Because Jay is like, he's not predictable, but he's, I don't know. And hey, remember, we saw he's that main and also, of course, yeah. we saw that main event. Gato barely even played a factor into the match. Yeah. With Tama, he was barely involved. And if yeah, he was, he was, he was neutralized quickly by Johnny. Yeah. Like, we all saw the match. Jay practically won that pretty clean. Yeah. Yeah. One. Two. 
by a captured Blade Runner, right? Yeah. Like, Tama was trying to go for the second rope uh, gun stun, and he got reversed into a Blade Runner. I was so mad when fucking Tama I was, literally I was, come I, up I, I with different variations mad. of the Blade Runner. Yeah. That's one of the things that always got Okada like from. Because Jelly P, you might as well call the Blade Runner a um, out of nowhere move because you know, it's like the gun stun. You get it out of nowhere. Then, yeah. They got a good move yeah. to like just end matches. <laughs> and you know they were shooting on the TV title tournament as Shiro Koshinaka defeats Tetsumi Fujinami. Wow. Wait. Oh wow, Fujinami wins. Hit, baby hit. Uh, well, Judge, I, I, I kind of find it weird with that because the briefcase was was never on the line. They did point that out. It was like, why was the why wasn't the freaking briefcase on the line? You freaking power! Because Okada said, "Fuck you, no, I'm going to Wrestle Kingdom." I go burr, lol. Which is technically proving Jay's point, right? In the um post match and everything. Because if you saw the post match. With Jay, he does bring up some really good points for him. Man was handed everything from, from having the old belt past his briefcase. This bad can't turn the light on. Alright, now time for John Moxley versus Chase Owens. And there's John Moxley. So yeah, this will be my last uh, match before I have to take care of some stuff. Yeah, sorry about that. But we got this match up. Between these two, I'm going Moxley. I know, brother. I'd watch out for Chase's package pile drive. No one is kicked out the of the package. The only package pile he's got is in his pants, not a pile driver. What is wrong with that? I think his finisher is a package pile driver. No, that's what he wants you to think it is. Look at it, he's making it upset. Oh, okay. That was. Chase Owens is a very, very inappropriate wrestler. He should be called Filthy, not Tom Lawler. No, we're gonna be. Don't worry, Jug. We're gonna be watching Control Your Narrative tomorrow. JM, though, I think he's busy that because of that punishment. Jesus Christ, JM. Just let us. Let's just have fun with it, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, he gave a good reasoning why he's not going to be able to join that day. But if not, then we can, I don't know, take pictures and just spam it to him PM wise of like silly pictures. I. Because you know what to say, a picture's worth a thousand has to be there. It was on, on me. JM, it was on the thing. No, it wasn't. Do we have to do we have to write these challenges in blood for them to work at this point? Oh man. Besides, I have to I gotta I gotta work. Uh, hello? Ah crap. I'm, my mic's out again. Oh, look at that move that Chase Owens has on Moxley. I think JM's mic isn't working because he's not my, talking at the my, moment. Mike went out again. All right, so what okay, I was trying I knew to it. say was I got work. Yeah. Oh. I gotta, I gotta bring L. I gotta bring, I gotta make the cash. Out, you know what I mean? Come on. Ah, the Ninja De Niro. Hey man, let's get to that money though. I have to make the one billion, kajillion, fulfillion, shkabi blue, a million, yen. Hooray. <laughs> it never works for me, brother. You're damn straight. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, remember that freaking uh, PPWA? He was politicking the whole way through the show. Politicking the whole fucking match, bro. <laughs> Like, really. said, if, I, if the politics worked, I would have went over. <laughs> That's how it works. Well, you still got over. The match was a success. <laughs> you know what's funny? Fun. The next time we do PPWA, I walk out. The, I walk it down, and I'm somehow still the champion. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know walking, I'm back. still the champion. And I'm like, wait. And they're like, wait a minute. How, how, do you, how, do you, how, how the hell is he still the champion? Yeah. He got pinned. Well, yeah, well, remember, he stole, he stole my salami roll, and I asked for it back. He said, give me the belt back, and I did it. It's <laughs> something silly like that. Well, guess what? I, I, I stole the salami he was making for his sandwich. And he said, and I told him to give me the belt back, brother. And, he, and like an idiot, he did. I'm the champion again. Ah! You can't out-politic the politician, brother. <laughs> I'm the ultimate hustler. I'm the hustler. I mean, the next GPWA show, you is going to be attacked. Well, brother, brother, like, brother, okay. brother, brother, brother. Every day he's brothering. Every day he's brothering. Every day, every day, every day. <laughs> I think we broke him. <laughs> we broke him, Skittles. <laughs> no, oh, who's I we? I don't speak French. Oh, by the way. Oh, hey, Rasta. How, how about we off on CYN until J until you Jam's go, ready? You can go screw yourself. <laughs> you you, you yeah. can go watch that garbage if you want. Because we had that deal thing for a bet. I never agreed to it. Yeah. You don't have to. It's, it's written in pen. Well, it doesn't work we for me, one, brother. We are one. We are one. I don't remember signing any petty document. Yeah, I, I didn't did. sign your Microsoft Word you. document. We <laughs> are watching Control right now because I remember Rule One. Oh, what's Look, this? I this like yes. CW Hardcore Revolution. Oh, then fucking play Control your narrative. Yeah, that's a pretty neat move that you posted there, Ross. That's a good thing. The next game we're streaming is ECW. Um, Harker Revolution and and WCW Backstage. Why do you want to play Backstage Assault? I don't. <laughs> you <is. laughs> It's just a joke. Yeah. I'm just staring at you right now. Yeah. Do I look pretty? No. You look ugly as a motherfucker. God damn that. And that hurt me. <laughs> Chase with a kick to the face. Yeah, goes for it. So it goes for the pin. Yes. Can you imagine if Chase Owens beats John yeah. Moxley? That would cause uh, a it lot of upset people. It was still a good match, though, Jug. I did enjoy. I did like the uh, that version of the the reenactment yeah. of the Vader German. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What, what was your thing? Let me read it, because I missed it. Alright, there we go. Oh, uh, Judge, eat you. Okada's getting his win back, brother. Because Jonah was threatening to, uh, you know, if he beats Okada, he's going to f force the commit, try to force the committee to put him in the main event to make it a triple threat. I'm very sure for a Wow. Ever since Okada became a father, he's like, he's like, he, he, he's like going nuts. He's like, nah, no, no, fuck you, brother. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing no briefcase defense. Yeah, he wants to take some time off. Well, he's got the, he's probably got the most of the tag league tour off. And I think he's got half a battle on him. Oh no! And so the next time they air, oh, pack it, pile driver! Two, three, oh my God, he beat Moxley! Wow! Well, that's a weird way for me to leave, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Rasta left too. Okay. And that uh, Rasta's back. Okay. I wish you would at least announce when you're leaving or something. 
Wow, jeez. You know, that way we could say goodbye and all that. But uh, Chase Owens with the package pile driver victory. Goodbye. And Rasta <laughs> leaves. He only appeared for five seconds of glory. All right, well, I'm going to have to get going, too. Have a good day, everybody. All right, see you, guys. All right, so time for the semi-main event of B-Block, ladies and gentlemen. As Shingo. Takagi. Who literally said a out-of-context line the other day. What what, what did he say? This man literally said, I'm going to beat that ass till it's red. Bruh. You know what? I'm not even mad. So, so, in our semi main event, we got Shingo Takagi versus Hiroshi Tanahashi. Here we go. Jug, who do you got? Do you got the dragon or do you have the ace of the universe? You know it's an awesome dragon. <laughs> Jug says he's a Tana fan. He is going for the East Universe. And Mel, here's the out of context pick. I, here, here's the out of context I told you about. All right, let's see this shit. <laughs> it's in no my chat. This shit is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> this man literally Bruh. said, "El Fantasmo." And at Rumble on 44th Street, we're having a last dad standing match. A last dad standing? Yes. You know what? Let's go. <laughs> then we'll finally show why he is and truly will be dad. Oh, God. Right now, Shingo going after uh, Tana's knees, which are held ah, together man. by duct tape. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. The power of the dragon. You can't out dragon the dragon. Yeah, so, Judd, about that Oscar guy, um, he's from yeah. Folly Jojo. So that means that we're probably going to see him possibly on the Tamashi shows in, uh, next month. Also, Judd, the Royal Quest shows will be live. Will be uh, will finally be watchable uh, tomorrow at three o'clock, three p.m. All right. So they will be uh, available for people's perusal. Tana being sent out of the ring. Oh, and she goes flying. The dragon is flying. He's flying, brother. DDT to the floor. Ah, damn. You hear that bitch laugh? Yeah. Well, Judd, yeah, did you see the Lion's Pride uh, documentary they did? Like that tough, that tough enough like show that the, the Folly Dojo did? Oh, by the way, is that going to come back again, or was that a one-off thing? Um, that, I'm not sure. It was, uh, no, uh, Jug, you have, you, have, you have to check it out. It's actually, uh, pretty good. Uh, we didn't get to see the whole thing, but anybody who went through that session of the training camp, uh, they were actually going to be selected to be a part of the, of, of New Japan, of the Folly Dojo, officially, for New Japan. 
They could have eventually get New Japan contracts. Wow. Oh my god, what is that? So there was actually, so yeah, so Jug, I recommend uh, checking that out when you got time. All the episodes are up on uh, New Japan World. Tana with some combinations and going once again for the knee. Tana's like, look, man, if I can't have knees, no one is having knees. I'm taking your knee privileges away. Oh god, <laughs> Boris saw the saw the picture. <laughs> like, oh, there she go. Martin. Martin. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's like, hold up there, brother. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Jug reacting with the rock. Shingo now go using some elbows. And he's gonna go for the pop and Bama! Awesome. No, the ace is still in this. Dragon screw. Twisting shout. Yatta! Oh, Jug, you saw the Boy Sawyer clip uh, he sent way back? Where he took the where he, where he got Baba chop, knife edge chop from Baba, you went flying? Oh, wait, Tana with the body slam. And oh, wait, he's going up. High fly flow. Two. Oh, he almost had him. But what a lariat there by Shingo. Now he's running the ropes. Yo. Yo, yo one question that one question that really made me go hold up was. Oh, the. Hey, no. One picture that really made me go, wait, you know, hold up there, sir, was. Mal's little phantasma. I'm like, bruh. That shit is hilarious. I'm like, bruh. They really put a whole ass dummy in Phantasma's mouth. A German you know suplex. that happened like during the show, right? Oh, uh, that's true. Wait, wait. That happened during the show. You forgot? Wait a minute. Remember? Remember when we what watched the, it? Tanashi, that actually doing? happened. Right. Like, he was there, right? Yeah, I... Uh, holy... I guess I'll have to watch that match again. Holy shit. Like, that happened after the match. Then, Tana like, threw Shingo out the no. ring. And hey, what's Tana thinking about? Is he gonna be like... I'm gonna be a spot on Oh, like, wait, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, God, last of the dragon on the cozy green grass. That got me. Oh, it's Hana going up to the top. I fly flew. And he got him. I love it too. <laughs> so Hiroshi Tanahashi gets two points on the board. And now it is time for the final match of this edition as Shinya Hashimoto, the man who is cursed to be the biggest oh, loser boy. in the pantry universe, takes on Taichi. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, boys. What's up, babe? I mean, oh, up, you know? 
Yeah. Are we going to watch Triple Mania tonight? Uh, I'm not going to be able to watch Triple Mania. I got work. I got, I got work I'm super gonna, early tomorrow. Oh, shit. I'm going to be able to watch Triple Mania, Boris. All right, fine. You can stream it. We are not Wait. paying for that. Wait. Ain't the boys in the mall gonna stream that bitch? I don't think so, but you know, we can stream it over there if you want. Oh, I, yeah. I didn't. I did not see the question. <laughs> yeah, hey Boris, you actually just came in time for the main event of uh, of the G one O of this edition My of the G one O. Always get jobbed out by the CPU. Always job it out. This time, Shidi Hashimoto will be taking on Taichi. It should be easy for Shinya, but no, I do doubt think, he's going to. No, 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 Boris, Wait. do you think your man, do you think your your boy, Shidi Hashimoto, can defeat the Holy Emperor? Uh, not, <laughs> not with the CPU plan. <laughs> Shidi Hashimoto dead last in zero. Taichi's in second place in B Block, if you can believe it. Yeah, no. This is a universe where he did not cheat on anybody. Hi. And here we go. We're gonna find out right now if Hashimoto can uh, can defeat the Holy Emperor Taichi. Jug is laughing. Hashimoto. The eternal loser. <clears throat> Boris, who knows? Maybe you being here, uh, Shiri Hashimoto on will help you win. Yeah. The king of destruction. Oh, God. 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 <laughs> His destruction I... is, 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 was, is, was destroyed. <laughs> He's the king of the choke. And stay choking on everything. Right. Those Kawada kicks he learned from Kawada and Hustle. Man. Let's hope next year, freaking Hashimoto. Man. Hashimoto, if he could believe in himself and use a tiny pinch, pinch of strong style magic, all his dreams could hey, come bo- true. Hey, get boy. Hey, boy. Just. <laughs> This man Hashimoto out here choking like oh that choking like ah that Delacroix. Oh uh, hold on, let me look at Joe's question. Got a question for the guy who watches Mexican wrestling. I was looking for some mid late two thousands triple A C M O. Uh. Doug, you're asking if the crowd were really that dead at that time? Yes, they were. They're absolutely completely dead. Um, they called their show a triple mania because, like, they always, like, do it first, like, uh, three times a year. This is the first time they've run it three times a year. Before? No. Hashimoto oh, using some of the martial arts against Taichi. Yeah, yeah, Jug, the, the crowds were really that dead in, like, the 2000s. <laughs> I was also wondering at that. No. I don't know if you've ever seen X Pop. Um, go to Trip Way. Ooh, bad. Two, Ooh, bad. bad. Three, wait, wait. X Pop was in Trip Way. Yeah, the, the, the leader. Oh, so, yeah, the leader of the fabulous Degeneration Max. Yeah. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Did they really call his faction oh, Degeneration Max? 18! Yes. 19! Wait a minute! LOL! A win's a win, baby! How she LOL! It's like down now. LOL! LOL, that's funny as fuck. How she was at this point. How she was at this point where he's like, he doesn't care as long as he gets a win. So he finally gets two points on the board, making spoiling Tai Chi's chances of trying to get evil right now. That's uh, JM, your mic died again. Ah, damn it. Uh, hold on. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh. Uh, JM, your mic died. My man, Mike. 
Yeah, man. Oh, man. Harsh right, Moto man. 1, the Mike just gave up. Okay, so, the next time we... Okay, guys, before we go, let me tell you what we got coming up in the C block. In the C, in the C block. Next time we come back for the G1 All-Star, we got Sonata taking on Stan Hansen. The Great Kabuke versus Nobuhiko Takata. Vader versus Jay White. Great Muda versus Hash Brown. Yoshihashi and Tamatanga takes on the man he has not been able to defeat, Hiroki Goto. And in D Block, round five, we got Zack Sabre Jr. versus Tom Lawler. Will Ospreay versus Minoru Suzuki. Osamu Nishimura, Mr. Muga, taking on Kazuchika Okada. Toru Yano takes on Genichiro Tenru. And Aaron Hinari takes on Yoshihiro Takayama. So we got some pretty big battles going on in the C and D Block block for for the next time we do this. So see you guys next continuation of the New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 All-Star.